Hey guys, so this is my first haul video. I can't believe I've never done a haul video, but uh, yeah, I have accumulated quite a bit of stuff over the last um, two, three weeks, three weeks maybe, um, and partly, well, not partly, solely because of the Sephora um, VIB Rouge quadruple points promotion that was going on um, and the epic rewards that were supposed to happen on the 10th, and I don't know what happened, but yeah, you probably are feeling me. Um, anyway, I loaded up on stuff up until August 10th um, so that I could redeem my epic rewards and I couldn't do it. But anyway, I did get a lot of goodies. I'm very happy with all of them, so I have no intent on returning any of them. Most of it is stuff that I had been wanting anyway for a long time, so you know, I'm just keeping my points and holding out and seeing what they're going to do because I do have faith in Sephora and I do believe that they're going to make it right. Uh, but anyway, that's way off topic. Let's go ahead and get started with the haul. Some of this stuff I've already used and opened, but I put it back in the box just for this video. Um, but the one thing I couldn't find in the box is the makeup eraser, which is what we'll start with first. So um, if you are familiar with the makeup eraser, or if you're not familiar with the makeup eraser, basically this is uh, what it is. It's just a little pink cloth like this. And and it is what it says it is, a makeup eraser. I mean, you basically just wet this with warm water and you can completely remove a full face of makeup without any makeup removers, without any face wash, without any makeup wipes, nothing. I bought this and took this to Mexico with me because I didn't want to pack a lot of extra products and it works like a charm. I love this guy. So that is one thing that I got that I had been wanting for a long time. The next thing that I got is this Marc Jacobs Style Icon Palette. I have the Lolita Palette and this is another really pretty neutral palette. It's the uh, 220 The Lover, and it's just a really pretty palette of some pretty like neutral, wait, what am I doing here? Neutral um, shadows. It's got a few shimmers and then a few mattes. So it actually have this on my eyes right now. So I got that little goodie. Um, the next product I have is something that I just threw you on. It is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Full Cover Foundation Concentrate. This foundation um, is what I have on right now. I love it. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now, and um, I did a review on that, so I will link that down below so you can see my review on this product. But I got this. Um, the next thing is deodorant. If you haven't tried the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist deodorant, um, it's amazing. I love it. This is all that I wear and you can get from Sephora. And I got these lashes, these uh, plush lashes by Sephora. So the Sephora that I go to, these are new there. They just recently started carrying this line of lashes. They're, I guess they're their premium line lashes. They're really pretty and fluffy and fluttery. Um, definitely higher quality than what they typically carried in the past. I think they still carry that, but this is, I think this was like 17 or $18. So it's a little bit more than those lashes, but they're beautiful. And then I got, I don't have the box for this anymore. I did take this out of the box, but I got the Tarte um, Energy Noir palette. And it is just comes like this. I don't want to get fingerprints on my mirror, but it has six eyeshadow, a seven, eight, nine eyeshadows. Yeah, nine eyeshadows. And a blush. And it's really pretty. It's plums and um, purples. And I just liked the packaging a lot. And I really like Tarte. And this was like $36, I think. So it's pretty affordable. Um, the next thing I got is oh, this lipstick. Um, I actually just picked this up today. So this is a haul that's about like three weeks. Um, I went to like a private shopping event that they had one Sunday morning and got a few things. And then I placed a few online orders. And then I went today and got a couple of things. And this is one that I got. So this is the Marc Jacobs um, lipstick. I hadn't owned a Marc Jacobs lipstick before and it's really pretty. It's just a really bright coral. It's called Crush, 610 Crush. Um, but I saw a video and I actually did a makeup tutorial just now and I used this lipstick so I will be posting that soon. I'm not sure if I'm going to post this video first or that video but there will be a video soon with this lipstick. It's gorgeous. Um, and then I've got Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop by Becca. I had never owned a Becca highlighter before. Can you believe it? I owned one foundation by Becca and that was it. Um, but I didn't want to I actually held out on ordering this. So I just ordered it like a few days ago. Um, I didn't know that I was going to, I was like, eh, I'm just going to kind of let it pass. I don't need it. I don't need another highlighter, but I just, the thought of like it's selling out and it being limited, I don't know if it's limited or not, but I just didn't want to risk not having it because I love Jacqueline and I love this highlighter. So got that one. And then, um, 
what else do I have? Okay, so this is a perfume. I've been in search for the perfect fragrance forever. I don't know if I'm the only one that struggles with this, but I go and I smell all the fragrances and I'm just like, they all smell the same to me and there's nothing that really grabs me. Chelsea wears this and she just smells amazing. And so I caved in and ordered it. It's a Givenchy, Givenchy play perfume. Um, it smells amazing. I love it. It's a pretty bottle too. If you haven't seen it, let me show you. Yeah, so it's really pretty. Yeah, so I just got this. I ordered this online. This came in a couple of days ago. It was so nice to come back from vacation, and I had two Sephora boxes waiting for me on my front porch. It was a very happy day. <laughs> then I got the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Nothing too special about this. Um, I have been wanting this for a really long time, and I just hesitated ordering it because I have other setting uh, powders, and I felt like I didn't really need another setting powder. But uh, for quadruple points, I couldn't pass it up, so I got that. Um, I also got, ooh, this is a Make It Forever lip gloss. I just got this today, actually. I was all about coral today. I went to Sephora and I got the Marc Jacobs Coral Lipstick that I showed you. And then I got this um, lip gloss by Make It Forever. It's really pretty. It's like really bright and fun, and it's, but it's still kind of sheer. It's like a mix between a really sheer lip gloss and a really pigmented lip gloss. It looks really pigmented on camera, but it actually, you can kind of see through it on the hand. It's beautiful. So I got that, um, and since we're talking about lip stuff that I got today, I also got this lipstick that I have on right now, which is the Makeup Forever um, lipstick in N51 is the shade range, um, and it's just this really pretty like coral kind of salmon color, so it's a lot more muted than the one from Marc Jacobs, but I'm just all about coral right now. I lightened my hair too, I don't know if you can tell, but I just got my hair lightened and so I felt like coral lips is really pretty with lighter blonder hair. So I got this Marc Jacobs eyeliner in brown out. Um, I got a few Marc Jacobs products. I don't typically don't buy his products um, and I love this. I've used this a few times. It's just an eyeliner, eyeliner pencil. Um, it glides on really well and it stays forever. When I was swatching this at Sephora for their event, um, you know, I had my hands covered in product and I got makeup remover and wiped it. And this was like the one thing that I just could not get off. So once I saw that, I was like, okay, sold. It's worth whatever I paid for it. I think it was 28 or $30 or something. Marc Jacobs products are are a little or pricey not a little they're pricey um but they're so nice the packaging is nice the quality is great it's definitely a luxury product but i felt like i deserved it <laughs> then i got this brush that i've been wanting forever by tarte it's just the um buffer brush i wanted a really fat buffer brush like this believe it or not i don't have one like i have brushes that are like buffer brushes but they're smaller and so i wanted a really big one that had a lot of coverage um, and I like that it just stands up, so it has a flat bottom, so it literally just can like stand up on my vanity. I think that's really cute. I got this, and I bought it to go with this other product. It's the um, Amazonian Full Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. And there's, so I ordered this online, and never order foundations online. It never works out for me. I ordered it online in the wrong shade, and then I took it back, and I got another shade, which was still the wrong shade, and then I took it back today, and I got this one, which I have not used yet, so I hope it's right. This is medium tan sand. So I will say this, the beige range shade range in this is really, really pink. Um, that's what I had ordered before. I'd ordered two beige ones, like medium beige, and then like light medium beige or something like that and it just threw on it was like a little way too orange so um i hope this one works out but this works great with this brush so i applied this earlier today it was the wrong shade but i just sprayed this brush with fix plus and buffed it in and it was really nice really 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 pretty oh a few more things in here um i got this little skincare brush um so i had a clarisonic years ago and i just never used it you know I just used it when I first got it and then I put it aside and I never kept up with it but I do remember my skin feeling really clean and my skin looking really nice when I would wash my face with that so I got a little one for travel um I didn't obviously take it on my trip because it's still in the packaging but I thought it'd be good to have in my shower and just use it here and there I think this is like ten dollars or something um is that all I got Gosh, I went through that really fast. I thought it was going to be forever to get through all of that. Um, yeah, that's it. The rest of the stuff is just samples that I got. I got the little Beauty Insider bag with, you know, little goodies in there. It was actually pretty good stuff. Um, 
It came with a uh, Bare Minerals lip gloss. It's a pretty neutral shade. It's called Maverick. It's like a really dusty, rosy pink, um, just really neutral. It works great on everybody. Um, came with a hand cream. Um, it also came with a uh, Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial Sample by Kors. Um, it came with a fragrance sample by Chloe. A little sample of nail polish, really pretty, just a nice pretty pale pink. And then a facial mask sample, and then the Benefit Professional Primer for foundation. So that are all the goodies that I got. I've used most of them. Some of them I still have yet to use, but uh, yeah, I thought this would be a fun little video since I don't typically do hauls. Um, I never have like a collection this big that, um, you know, I just buy little stuff here and there. Um, so anyway, I was just, ha I had all this thing on my vanity today and I was like, well, I should probably do a haul video. This would be great. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up, if you didn't, then don't really share that with me. Maybe. I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. If you felt if you feel my pain with that Epic Rewards by Sephora, let me know below because I was like, I was in Mexico on my cell phone trying to place orders, trying to get my 2,000 point rewards and I couldn't do it. And then I was trying to email Sephora and trying to call Sephora from Mexico. It was kind of ridiculous. Um, but it, it looks like it was like, a, no, it wasn't just me. It looks like this happened um, to almost everybody. I don't really know if anyone got to cash in their points and get an Epic Reward, but Anyway, I still love Sephora. I'll still always shop there. A great service in stores, and um, I'm sure they're going to make it right. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!